Hey everybody, it's me, Lady T. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Lady T's Things That Bling, Crafting and Creating with Lupus. I so appreciate you watching. It really blesses my soul to know that you would take time out of your schedule to watch my videos. Today, we're going to do a video and we're going to decide which is better, water slide or sublimation. Now, I'm going to show you um, how I do the water slide and I have done picked a video with the sublimation but today I'm going to show you the sub, sub I'm sorry today I'm going to show you the water slide and then you decide which one you think is better which one you think you would like to use or maybe you like both I don't know so let's get ready here we go okay like I said we're gonna be talking about water slide versus sublimation now um, all of the cups that you see there are sublimated cups that means I had to use special ink and use a special machine a mug press to get the item on the cup water slide is paper it's a film like material that you use and you use it to put it in the water and slide it onto your item. That's why it's called water slide. So here I'm showing you the paper that I printed it on. And this is a can of um, crystal clear Krylon um, sealer. This is a sealer that you have to use on the water slide after you print it out. If you don't use the sealer on the water slide after you print it out and you put it in the water, the image is is going to disappear the image is just going to run off that's why you have to use the um sealer some people use mod pods some people use other sealers but i like this crystal clear um acrylic coating which i believe i got this from ac more when they were still open um and the thing about this is that you have to uh, seal your item on the paper two to three times in order for it not to run once you put it in the water you don't have to do that with sublimation. With sublimation, you print your item out, put it in your heat press, boom, and let it sit for however long it's supposed to sit and it's done. With this, you have to, with a water slide, you have to make sure that you spray it at least two to three times. Let it sit in 10 minute intervals and then you can use it. Now this is a water slide. I'm using this particular image right now just to show you how easy it is. Any one of those items that I cut out, you could have used those. But I'm just showing you how easy it is to use water slide. Something else you're going to need is water. You're going to need something to put some water in. Preferably um, a little bit warm. Not hot, but a little bit warm. Because you don't want it to uh, rub your wor words off while it's in the water. Now I'm showing you this sublimation right here. Because when you sublimate, you have to put your... When you're printing your sublimation, you have to make sure that your words are mirrored. Look at this item. I printed this out and I sublimated it and it was the wrong way. I put Monica because I didn't mirror it when I was uh, before I printed it. So that's why that came out backwards. And I was so angry when I saw it. I was like, dang, I messed up another cup. Now this is sublimation and this is exactly how it's supposed to look when you sublimate. The words are supposed to be backwards when you mirror your image or reverse your image okay the words are supposed to be looking backwards when you do sublimation when you do water slide you do not i repeat when you do water slide you do not have to mirror your images the way it is on the screen is the way you print it out you do not have to mirror your images when you're doing water slide this is one of the water slide versus a uh, sublimation one of the good things about water slide is you do not have to remember to reverse your image now here's a bowl of water I just put it's just a little teeny bit warm and you put your item in it it curled up it doesn't matter if it curls up it's not gonna hurt the image at all it's not gonna stick together so you let it sit in there for a few seconds um, or longer depending on you know if it's gonna slide off easy or not and now I'm sliding it let me move this water before it spills somewhere so I'm sliding the image off of the paper that it's on and I'm laying it down because to me it's easier to do that way. So I'm holding it with my right hand and I'm pulling it with my left hand off of the paper. Once you pull it off the paper, you have to smooth it. You have to smooth it 
You have to smooth it to get all the water bubbles out of it. You never want to just pull it off and leave it like that. You want to wipe it. Um, I was wiping it with my finger. But to get a better um, placement of the image, I'm going to wipe it off with the paper towel. Now, with the paper towel, you must be gentle with this because this is like a film. Like You don't want to just be rough handling it because it will rip. And another thing about water slide is once you put the image on, you can move it around. Now, I have mostly dried it off, but if I wanted to move it around again, I'd just wet it a little bit and it would move around because it's not sealed on there. Now, another thing about water slide is that you have to seal it. You have to seal it before you continue on with it. If you don't, then it's going to come off eventually. Okay, you have to seal it. I'm sealing it with this crystal clear acrylic coating that I used when I sealed it on the paper. That's what I'm going to use, but I'm not going to do it on camera because it's too much smelling and I don't feel like walking down the steps <laughs> with this hip. With sublimation, you don't have to seal it. Once it's baked on there, it's on there. And I say bake because you put it in a heat press machine, which is baking it onto the item. And once you do that, you can't adjust it. You can't fix it. You can't do anything. It's, it's just on there. Just like I showed you the cup with Monica. I messed it up. I can't do anything about it. Her name is backwards. I can't do anything about it. And also mess it up like that on the shirt. So you want to be careful about what you're doing because you don't want to be messing up stuff because whatever you mess up, you got to replace it. Nobody have money like that to be wasting stuff. So make sure that you know what you're doing when you're doing water slide or sublimation. And look at the colors on that. Look how vibrant those colors came out. And it doesn't look any different than the sublimation. It's beautiful. The colors are beautiful. But again, you do have to seal it again. Another thing with water slide versus sublimation. And I'm talking about sublimation without any um, bling bling on it. This one has bling on it. This one doesn't. Now... Look at the color on that sublimation and the color on the water slide. They're both beautiful. They're both vibrant. Okay. The difference is with the sublimation, you can put the sublimation in the in a dishwasher. You can submerge it in water. You can put it in the microwave. You cannot do that with water slide. You cannot put it in the microwave. You cannot put it in um, the dishwasher. You cannot submerge it in water. So what you would do is just get your washcloth your dishcloth you know wash it out on the inside and around the mouth and then keep it pushing because if you submerge it in the water you're going to have a possibility a high possibility of it coming off and you say well i thought you said you seal it you do seal it but after a certain amount of uses and you keep dipping it in the water it's going to come off <laughs> so somebody might ask can you bling out a water slide cup or item of course you can so I'm just going to show you this item because this lady has braided hair. I'm just going to show you how you can also add bling bling to a um, water slide item. Okay. Now that's water slide. You can bling it. You can do whatever you want to do it. Okay. So we're using the messed up Monica cup. <laughs> and I'll put this lady on the back. And you see how easy it's sliding. You really don't have to leave it in there that long. I'm doing this fast because I'm used to it now and I know how to use it. When I first tried to do it, it was so intimidating, but now I know how to do it. But I still prefer sublimation over water slide because it's just it's less steps. But this is a good option um, if you like to buy your cups from Dollar Tree or Dollar General, Family Dollar, anywhere. Um, and they're just regular cups. You cannot... I repeat, you cannot um, sublimate on dollar store cups. You just can't unless you go through all of these steps to do it. I'm not about to do that. So if I can use water slide, I'm going to use water slide as my option versus having to do all these steps to try to make my cup sublimatable, if that's a word. <laughs> Sublimation ready. I'll say it like that. So now I'm going to show you um, how you can add gems to a water slide item once your cup is sealed or whatever you're making it on when it is, once it is sealed okay 
you absolutely can put gems on it. Now I'm using gem tack real quickly just to show you how to do this. And these are some of my favorite gems that I got from Amazon. And you see her hair is braided on here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the gem tack and I'm going to place it where I want to put my beads. So I was going to use the real small ones, but they are too small. So I'm going to go two sizes up and use those beads. So I'm just going to dip my little thing in a little bit of the gem tack because that barely has any more wax on it. And I'm putting the gems on the braid where I put the glue. I'm just trying to show you that you can do this as well. But again, can you see that? The gems are on there. And may I stress again, and this goes for sublimated cups as well. If you have bling bling on your cups, do not submerge them. Do not put them in a microwave. Do not put them in the dishwasher. Just hand wash very quickly, turn it over and let it dry. If you put it in the microwave, if you put it in the dishwasher, if you submerge it, your gems are going to come off. Please be aware of that. That's whether you're using um, water slide or sublimation, your gems will come off. Okay. See, the, it's, it's simple. So now what do you prefer? Sublimation or water slide? Well, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope something I showed you or said in this video was helpful for you. If it was, please leave me a comment. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate you for watching. This is Lady T signing out. Have a great day.